Hey guys, it's Lewis here from NDXTesting.com. Are you going to have an EMG and you find yourself a little nervous because you do not know what to expect? Well, the first thing you need to know is what is an EMG? Well, an EMG, it's, it's a nerve and muscle study. And those are the two key words that you need to remember. Now, the nerve examination is done by using electrical impulses on the arms and legs. And also know for your own personal education that all the nerves you have from your shoulders to your fingertips originates from the neck. So the neck is like the fuse box of the upper extremities. Everything originates from there. Likewise, too, all the nerves you have from your hips to your toes originates from the lower back. So when the technologist is performing the uh, nerve study, when he uh, does the nerve study on the arms and legs, he gets a lot of information that originates from the neck and, and lower back. Now, the muscle examination is done completely different. You don't feel any electrical impulses. The physician, either a neurologist or a physiatrist, specializing in the field of electrodiagnostic medicine, he takes a needle electrode, pinches the muscle, and records the activity of that muscle. Again, you don't feel any electrical uh, impulses. And if it's good with his hands, then you have nothing to uh, worry about. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you guys a quick demonstration so you can see how these uh, studies are performed and then you're going to see that you're going to feel quite comfortable with the uh, procedure and if you go to the right place and you have good communication you'll see that you have nothing to worry about these tests are not painful all the technologists should do is use the exact amount of electrical impulses that your body needs for the nerves to react and the uh, doctor performing the needle examination if he's good with his hands and if he knows how to sample study that muscle precisely then you have nothing to uh, worry about on the other hand if you go to the wrong place then it could be a bit uncomfortable and the, the objective of this video is to get give you education on how these tests are performed all right guys so here we go so just to kind of remind you so when the technician starts the exam he should start with the uh, nerve examination with the intensity at zero and then all he's going to do is he's going to increase the intensity slightly until you feel it and then past that it's use the exact amount of intensity that you need for the nerves to uh, react so now usually when we do an upper uh, study we start with the at the level of the wrist okay so i'm going to stimulate myself Okay, usually I'll start at zero, okay? So now I'm going to increase slightly. You see my thumb, the way it reacts, so that's your motor reflex. So when you have a nerve examination, uh, they're gonna study your uh, motor nerves and sensory nerves. Motor nerves are attached to muscles, so you're gonna have a, a larger reflex. You see this here? Okay, look at my thumb. It reacts to the electrical stimulation, and then you have sensory nerves. Sensory nerves are attached to the skin. Those are responsible for touch and feel so you're not going to see much of a reflex as when you do the motor study so the technician will start at the level of the wrist look at your thumb reaction doesn't bother me at all obviously look if i go a little higher it does bother me so it's not going to make a difference in the reflex so the technician should use the exact amount of intensity that your body structure needs uh, for the nerves to react and it also depends on size listen i am 5 8 and 170 pounds obviously if i was 300 pounds and i'm going to use a little bit more intensity so now it, the technologies will come at the level of the elbow look at my elbow the way it's going to move see that that's my motor uh reflex so basically uh, that's where the nerve examination is going to feel like the technician starts at zero increases the intensity and then past that uses the exact amount of intensity that your body needs for the nerves to react on the other hand if this start high then you might feel uh, a little bit uncomfortable because you could be electrically sensitive so just try to remember and you're going to have this test with someone else then tell the technician to start with the intensity at zero and obviously if you have a pacemaker uh, you can't have this test and if you suffer from seizures maybe the last two three months if you had one then you shouldn't have this uh this test now let's look at the uh, needle examination really quick okay so let's give you guys a, a quick demo on the needle examination now remember you don't feel any electrical impulses all the uh, doctor's going to do is he's going to study the muscle uh, activity of that of that muscle okay so now the needle is not designed to withdraw blood or insert any uh, sort of medication we're just going to study the muscle activity of that of that muscle okay so i'm going to take it out right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh study my my tricep muscle okay so the tick the the uh, doctor should be really good with his hands he should be really really quick i'm going to insert it now ready i didn't feel nothing you see that if you do it really quick you have nothing to worry about the problem look it's inside and you don't have to go that deep either 
See that? And then you go into here the the electrical the activity of that muscle on the um, on the screen. I'm not connected uh, now for the sake of this uh, demonstration. I just wanted to see. I want to show you guys that it's not painful. I didn't feel nothing. But you know what the problem is sometimes that I notice with some of the doctors that I used to work in the past and I used to show them how to do painless EMGs is the fact that they will stab you slowly. You can't, you can't do that. You need to be smooth with your hands and you need to be quick, just like acupuncture. All right, guys, so there you go. So I hope that you found the video uh, helpful. And remember that uh, when we do the needle part, you get a brand new needle. We don't use uh, needles. I mean, no one, sh no one does that, but maybe I didn't, I didn't communicate that uh, at the beginning. And then also, you know, they, they'll use a little bit of alcohol. Uh, I didn't, I, I didn't uh, show you that part when I put alcohol on, on, on myself. So the needle examination should be done uh, properly. You got nothing to worry about. Nerve examination, if they use the exact amount of intensity, then you have nothing to worry about. Remember, everything is communication. Uh, if they communicate the procedures correctly, then you know they're going to be good. If they don't communicate what usually, you know, people don't can't communicate, uh, are, not, uh, are not good at, at what they do. Now also, so we do these exams, uh, these EMGs uh, for patients that got into a car accident, or maybe you got hit by a car, uh, maybe slip and fall in someone's business or personal property, or maybe you got hurt at work, uh, Medicare patients, or if you have out-of-network benefits, then we do these exams uh, as well. We have three locations, one in the Bronx, one in uh, Upper West Side, and then one in Midtown. Uh, Midtown office is one of our newest offices. It's about 6,000 square feet. It's a drop. Uh, it's a gorgeous office, and one of the nicest places that I've ever worked in. I've worked in a lot of nice places, but this is this is really this is really nice. So we also do physical therapy, acupuncture, various treatments. So let's just say you do uh, have a case and you need treatment, then we'll be able to take care of you. If you need an attorney, we work with a network of attorneys so we can help you maybe uh, find one if that's the uh, if that's the case. Anyway. If you need uh, information uh, about treatment and about maybe having an EMG test, then you can check with us. Send us an email at ndxtesting.com and uh, we'll be happy to uh, give, us, uh, give you a call. If you just need information about procedures, you don't know what to do, you're confused, then give us a call. Remember, we have three locations here in New York, uh, one in the Upper West Side, one in Midtown, and one in the, uh, in the Bronx. No, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.